All right, so first we're going to go to this site here, and I'm going to leave a link down in the description. And then what you want to do is go down here, and then we're going to download the binary zip archive. So we're going to do that. We're going to have to click on this link here, and then just wait for the download to finish like this. Then you'll want to locate the zip file that we just downloaded, and then we're going to extract its content. But for me, I'd like to put it in my program files folder. So I'm just going to cut this, go to my system, go to program files, and I'm just going to paste it directly into here. It might do this, just say, hit continue. And then once it's here, we're going to right click the raw file and then we're going to select the extract here option. And if a message pops up, just hit OK or confirm. And once it's done, we should have our folder right here. So next, we're going to go to our search bar and we're going to type in environment. And then we're going to hit the first option that shows up. And then this pop-up should appear. It's going to be the system properties. And then we're going to click on the environment variables button. And then this pop-up should appear. So what we're going to do in the system variables, we're going to locate the path variable. And then we're going to highlight it. And then we're going to hit edit. And then here, as you can see, I already have a previous version of Maven but we're gonna want the most updated version. So what we're gonna do is go back to the file explorer and then we're gonna highlight this folder and we're gonna click on it, double click on it. And to get the path, we can see here, all we have to do is just click on this here and then we should get the path. So we're gonna right click it, hit copy, go back to our environment variables and then we're gonna hit new. And then we're gonna paste that path into here, but also we're gonna type in a backslash and bin. And since I'm using it an older version, I have to make sure this is higher than this. So we're just gonna move it up and then we're gonna hit okay. And then just leave everything as normal. I do want to note that you might get some issues if you don't have a Java home variable as I've encountered it myself. So if you do get some errors saying that Java home isn't uh, declared or something, just make sure to add this variable and then the location of your JDK. And then once we have all of that, just hit OK. And then hit OK. And that should be it. And to check that it works, we're going to go to our terminal and we're going to type in this command, mvn dash dash version. And then we're going to hit enter. And there we go. So we have the most updated version of Apache Maven at the time of this video, which is 3.9.8. And that's pretty much it. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.